Representative Michael with uh, Internet Image Providers, what got us to this level? Was it just the pl public clamor? There were more bills introduced this year than ever before. We have, you know, electric vehicles here at the steps of the Capitol. What got us to this point in your view? I think a huge part of what has brought us to this point this year with the legislative session and our 15 or 17 bills, I think has been the demands of the public in a unique and much more extensive and broad-based way than ever before. And I think legislators are listening and providing a lot of options of how we can come to the same uh, goal, which is cleaner air for our communities. There were, there were reports that the House was going to hold all of the clean air bills and get them all passed in one big media event maybe. Yeah. What's going on there now? I, I had heard that as well and at the beginning of the session they were being held but they're filtering out little by little and, and I'm not sure how many have passed maybe maybe about half I think for, out of the house. Most of them are house bills and there's still some that are really important that need to pass out of the house and now we're crossing our fingers and advocating with the Senate to pass them. And with about seven days left to go, that'll have to happen fairly quickly. So, no log jams in the Senate that you uh, can see, or a lot of uh, the, most of these going to get get by and go through. I would suspect that most of them will get by. There were some concerns, let's say, with the wood burning stove bill. I think that was amended out in committee. Um, I think the Senate can support that now. The only bills that I think will be uh, still held up with some kind of logjam are those that have appropriations associated with the bills. And that's, they'll have to be debated by the appropriations committees and executive probes and, and we won't hear that, you know, thunderous news until probably middle of next week, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday.